Hello class, so today we're going to be doing 5-1 parallel lines and angle relationships. And a lot of this is going to be new, so what I want to do is go through a few definitions with you. And so the first one is transversal. And for transversal, it's a line that crosses two or more other lines. So a transversal is a line that crosses two or more other lines. And so here we have a set of parallel lines, and I'm going to draw the transversal in blue. So the blue line is going to represent our transversal because it crosses two lines. And we can put a little T for transversal with an arrow to it in our notes so we know what the transversal is. And then the second definition is vertical angles. And vertical angles are opposite angles, and if they're opposite angles, they're congruent. So vertical angles are opposite angles. And are congruent. And the sign we use for congruent is an equal sign with a squiggly on top, meaning they're the same measurement. And so I'm gonna go ahead and label two vertical angles. And so you see, these two are opposite, and so they're congruent. We also have these two vertical angles that are across from each other, and those are congruent as well. I just labeled one for y'all, so y'all can see. The next two definitions we want to look at is interior angles and exterior angles. And so our interior angles are going to be the angles on the inside of the parallel lines. So angles on the inside of our parallel So interior angles are the angles on the inside of our parallel lines. And I'm going to go ahead and label them on our uh, two parallel lines with our transversal so you all can see those. So AI, I'm going to represent it with an AI, so, or just an I. We'll just do interior for I. And then here's another one. You'll notice how I put the eyes on the inside of both of our parallel lines. And then so you probably can guess the exterior angles. They're angles on the outside of our parallel lines. So exterior angles, angles on the outside of our parallel lines. And then we'll label those. I'll do an E for exterior. And you see how they're on the outside of our parallel lines. So, so far we have a transversal, which is this blue line that's cutting through two parallel lines. We have vertical angles which are angles that are opposite of each other. We have interior angles, which are labeled with the I, and exterior angles, which is labeled with the E. Okay, the next two definitions we're gonna look at is alternate interior angles and alternate exterior angles. And so, for alternate interior angles, there are interior angles that are on opposite sides of the transversal. So interior angles opposite on opposite sides of the transversal. And there's one important thing you need to know about alternate interior angles is that if our lines are parallel they are always congruent. So we'll make a little note in parentheses. If lines are parallel, 
And then I'm gonna choose you A, I for alternate interior, bar congruent. So in parentheses, if lines are parallel, alternate interior angles are congruent. And so I'll go ahead and label a pair of alternate interior angles. So I'll use AI, and its alternate interior angle is going to be opposite of the transversal on the other side. That's one thing you need to make sure. So the alternate interior angle compared to this one is across on the other side over the transversal. So you'll see there's one on each side of our blue line. And then I'm going to use a different color to represent another pair. So here's one pair. And then here's another interior angle. And the one that's an alternate interior angle to that one is on this side. So the ones in purple are congruent. And the ones in blue are congruent as well. And so if we had degrees in here, if the blue one was 60 degrees, then we know this one over here is going to be 60 degrees. So make sure you're getting that down. So you probably can guess what alternate exterior angles are. It's the same thing, same concept as interior angles, but we're dealing with the outsides of the parallel lines. And so alternate, inter alternate exterior angles are exterior angles on opposite sides. of the transversal. Alternate exterior angles are exterior angles on the op opposite of the transversal. And so same thing down here, you can draw an arrow. If the lines are parallel, then we know our alternate exterior angles are congruent. And so I'll go ahead and label the pairs of alternate exterior angles. And so I'll do an A, E. So here's our alternate exterior angle. And the one that corresponds with that one is all the way over here. They're on opposite sides of this blue line. And they're on opposite sides of the parallel lines. So that's one pair. And then I'll list the other two. So we'll put A, E down here and then it corresponds with the one all the way over here and make sure you're making if you're not using different colors like me make sure you have a note that these two are alternate exterior and these two not you don't want to get confused and think that these are alternate exterior because they're not make sure you have these labeled you could put AE1 and AE1 AE2 and AE2 just so you know, if you're not using different colors. And our last definition for this video will be corresponding angles. And a corresponding angle are angles in the same position and on the same side as the transversal. So corresponding angles are angles in the same position and on the same side of the transversal. And so what I'm going to do is label one pair of corresponding angles. And so we'll put a C up here. And you notice the C's in the top left hand side. And so now we're going to come down here and we're going to stay on the left hand side of the transversal because according to our definition it has to be on the same side as the transversal. So we'll stick to the left side. And you notice the C's on the top left hand side. So we're gonna go here and it's gonna be right there. So these two C's, corresponding angles, are congruent. And that's one thing I forgot to mention. Corresponding angles are congruent. I put C are congruent for corresponding. So anytime our lines are parallel, 
our corresponding angles. Okay, are class. So the final part of this video is I want to recap on everything we've learned so far. And so what I'm going to do is list all the angles that are alternate interior, alternate exterior, and corresponding. And so our first pair of alternate interior angles are going to be on the inside of the parallel line and opposite of the transversal. And so our first pair is going to be four, angle four, and angle six. So we're going to write that off to the side, angle four and angle six. And then our second pair of alternate interior angles is going to be angle three and angle five. So angle three and angle five. So that is all of our alternate interior angles. So now we're going to look at the alternate exterior angles. Remember, they're off to the transversal just like the alternate interior, but they're on the outside of the parallel lines. And so the first pair of alternate exterior are going to be angles 1 and 7 because they're on the outside of the parallel lines and opposite sides of the transversal. So angle 1 and angle 7. And then our second pair of alternate exterior angles are going to be 8 and then 2. So angle 2 and angle and so now all we have left is our corresponding angles. Remember, those are the ones that are in the same position and on the same side as the transversal. So here we're going to look at one. And remember, it's in the top left-hand corner. So we're going to come down here on the same side as the transversal and find the one that's in the top left-hand corner. So angle one and five. angle one and angle five. And then now we're gonna come down here to angle four and find the one that's corresponding to angle four. Well, it's in the bottom left-hand corner, so we'll come down here and find which one's in the bottom left-hand, and that's eight. So angle four and angle eight. And so now we can look at two. The angle is corresponding with two, it's top right-hand corner, so we'll come down here and angle six is in the top right hand corner and on the same side as the transversal. So angle two and angle six. And the last two corresponding angles we have is angle three and angle seven because they're on the bottom right hand side. So angle three and angle seven. And just to recap on all of this, if our lines are parallel, then all of our alternate interior angles are congruent, all our exterior angles are congruent, and are corresponding as well. If they're a practice problem tonight, only thing you're going to do is take a picture of your notes and then email it to Mr. Collins. And so his email is down here below, and I'll leave that up so y'all can get that.